Hello guys, here is Shuli and you are welcome to my kitchen. Today I am going to show you how to make super tasty rich goat curry that means turai curry with chana dal that means chickpea lentils. It's a very easy recipe and very 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 tasty with boiled rice, roti and chapati. So guys let's see the recipe. Here I have taken 1 cup of chana dal that means chickpea lentils, soak them for about uh, 3 hours and now I wash them very properly. Now we have to pressure cook the lentils. So I have taken a pressure cooker and now I am adding the lentils into the cooker and now I am adding water into it. We do not need so much water because the lentils are soaked previously. So I am taking about double water uh, of the quantity of the lentils and now I am adding some salt about half teaspoon of salt I am adding. I am covering the pressure cooker and now we need to cook the lentils on medium heat until two whistles. And in the meantime, let's prepare our rich goats. I am peeling them off and after peeling off, we need to wash them properly and after that we will cut them into pieces. So here are they, let's wash them properly and now after washing, I have chopped them into pieces. Keep the sizes according to your choice, there is no boundness. And here I have taken one medium sized tomato and chopped it into small pieces. And here I am taking about 12 to 15 curry leaves. I washed them properly and here I have taken 4 medium sized onions finely sliced and about 1 and a half tablespoons of ginger garlic crush. I have crushed them but you may take the paste there is no problem. So guys here are the things we need to arrange and the rest of the things are available in our kitchen and in the meantime our lentils are cooked very nicely. Let's check them. The pressure is released and uh, Let's check the lentils. They are cooked very nicely, very perfectly as you can notice. But they should not be melted. Okay. So let's keep it aside and go for the main process. So guys, I have turned the heat on and now I am adding some cooking oil into the pan. When the oil is heated well, we need to add some cumin seeds. Half teaspoon of cumin seeds. Now I am adding half teaspoon of mustard seeds. A pinch of esophotida. We have to let them crackle well and after that we have to add the onion. So I am adding it and along with the onion we need to add the curry leaves also. So I am adding them and now we need to fry the onion until a light brown color and it is ready now. So now I am going to add the crushed ginger garlic. Now we need to fry for some time until the raw flavor of ginger garlic is gone. We need to fry for about uh, one and a half minute and after that we have to add the tomatoes. After adding tomatoes we need to add some spices. So at first I am adding salt to taste. I am stirring a little to avoid burn from the bottom and now I am adding half teaspoon of turmeric powder, one teaspoon of coriander powder, red chili powder according to taste and one teaspoon of Kashmiri lal mirch that means paprika powder and now I am adding one teaspoon of kanda lasun masala. It is a Maharashtrian spices mixture. If you do not have it, you may skip it easily. There is no problem. And now I am adding half teaspoon of garam masala. Garam masala is must for this recipe. So do not skip it. Now we have to cook the spices for some time. But with the spices we need to add the veggies. So I am adding the veggies into the spices. The rich goat will release some water. And now we need to add some more water. A little water of course. Do not add too much water now. To cook only the spices. So I have added some water. Now we have to mix everything nicely and now I am going to cover the pan and cook for some time until the water is dried up and oil is released from the spices. And after some time about 5 to 6 minutes on medium to low heat. Now this is the texture the oil is released very nicely and the water is dried up. So now we need to add the cooked lentils into the curry. Let's add it. And after adding the lentils we need to add some water for gravy. Add the water quantity according to your choice as thick or as thin you want your gravy. I am stirring a little and checking if more water is needed. So I am adding some more water and now we need to cover the pan and cook the curry on medium heat 
until the veggies are cooked 100 percent and now the veggies are cooked very nicely i am checking them i am showing you while checking and the gravy consistency is also perfect i like it so here are the veggies they are cooked very nicely now i am adding some fresh coriander leaves to garnish and now i am going to add some roasted kasuri methi i am taking one tablespoon of roasted kasuri methi and crushing them while adding like this kasuri methi means sun dried fenugreek leaves now after adding coriander leaves and kasuri methi we need to cook the curry for about one minute again and after that our curry is ready along with all the things i am adding half teaspoon of sugar also this quantity of sugar will not add any sweetness to the curry but will balance the sourness of the tomatoes so our curry is ready now let's serve it you have seen guys the recipe is super easy and the curry is super 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 delicious with boiled rice especially but you may serve it with roti chapati and paratha as well it will be so much delicious with them also so guys try this simple recipe at home and don't forget to share your experience with me hit the like button guys if you really liked the video and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching hope to meet you in the next video bye bye take care